This is a reading on how to improve your dating life, how to make it better, how to find the right person quicker. So first card is the love goddess card. So what does this card mean? It means you are dating like a peasant. You're not dating like a goddess. You're not dating like a queen. Or maybe you're not seeing yourself like a queen. If you want really amazing, great love, you have to hold yourself in a certain perspective. So when this card comes up, think about if you really were this amazing, beautiful love goddess, just coming and spreading your love to whoever was actually worthy. You know, like when you're really worshiping a deity, for instance, you have to be worthy to worship that deity. So this card is saying you are kind of in your love life. You're not seeing yourself with the appropriate perspective. It's like you're supposed to be seeing yourself like a queen who has a lot of options and is doing the choosing or like this beautiful goddess that should be worshipped. And instead, you're like a pauper going, please, please, please give me some love. If you really saw yourself as a love goddess, would you be interacting with some of the men you're interacting with? Would you be maybe sleeping with some of the people you're sleeping with? If you really know that you were this divine, beautiful, amazing being who was already full of so much love and who only had to draw the right person to you, not win love from somebody who wasn't even it, how would you operate, right? Because when this card comes up, it's usually a signal that you're not operating how you should be and you know it. You're letting in people that cannot really worship you like the goddess you are. You think they're going to give you love and they kind of end up making you feel crappy about yourself. And the reason is because you didn't appropriately vet that person. You didn't see yourself as a goddess. You didn't say this body as a temple. I'm not saying you can't have sex with people, right? Like this isn't about shaming you. It's about realizing you are a freaking goddess. And if you know that, you're going to have boundaries around who you let. Okay, so why are you not acting like the goddess that you are? It's coming. So this is a confirmation card that the real love you want is coming, but it's also letting you know you're not operating as if the real true higher love is coming are you? Why do we engage with people who cannot honor our divinity, who don't see us as a goddess? Like you should not interact with any men who do not see you as this beautiful goddess. Like why would you ever do that to yourself? You'd only do it if you didn't believe that the real higher level love was coming or you felt like you had to win crumbs from guys who weren't even it. So something in you needs to really sit with believing that the real kind of love you want is coming because when we are certain of the outcome we can afford to wait and wait without anxiety as a course in miracle says if you knew the real love was coming you wouldn't be letting in guys who did not treat you as a goddess so believe raise your standards receive more so i asked what's the outcome of this and what i got was an interesting card mother healing so when this card comes up it is sometimes a signal that you need to do some healing with your mother but <coughs> But this could also be a clear message for those of you who are wanting children, wanting to become a mother, wanting to add another child to your existing family via finding the right person. It's kind of a signal like this, it, you know, from it's coming, right? Your love is coming, but you need to step into a certain position in order to be able to receive it. It's interesting that the first card, love goddess, right? Like if you can see yourself from that higher perspective, you can hold the faith that what you want is coming. You're going to receive something so much better, either literally stepping into your dreams of motherhood, if that is what you are wanting and meant for via the right person. Please do not, if you haven't had kids yet, do not have kids with a guy who does not value you and see you as a goddess. It creates a negative ripple effect across the whole family. So this could literally be meaning that you are meant to be a mother through the right kind of person. So you need to raise your standards now, value yourself now, be careful of who you let in now because this is what's coming. This card could also mean that mother healing is coming or is necessary. So a lot of times when we are unhealed with our mother wound, we feel fundamentally unworthy, right? People who have a what? People who have a mother wound tend to feel not good enough because if you have any friction issues, abandonment wounds with your mother, mother's the one that's supposed to love you unconditionally. If you didn't receive that from your mother for whatever reason, it can be really hard as an adult to get that you do deserve unconditional love 
in a romantic relationship as an adult. So literally you might be experiencing a healing suit where you break free from a mother wound pattern that was blocking you in your love life, where this is a signal to dive in and ask yourself, how is my relationship with my mother or the feelings I had as a child towards my mother, how is that blocking me from receiving the love that I want? And if I had always been loved by her, how I needed, what would I believe about my love life now? So when we take these three cards together, the message is really about self-worth and self-love. See yourself as a goddess and only let in men or partners who treat you that way. That requires big boundaries. It also requires big faith that the love you want is coming. But if you do that, if you can treat yourself in that way and only allow in men who treat yourself that way, you may just find that your dreams of motherhood or your dreams of that unconditional love through a partnership, the unconditional love you never got as a child that you always deserved, that will come true. In order for this to happen, you've got to shift your inner positioning. See yourself as a goddess. Really see yourself as the divine sees you because that will automatically change what you let in. And no, no, it is coming.